I am Dan Humphrey, elementary and middle school principal, preschool through sixth grade at Danbury Local Schools. And I'm Joe Miller. I'm the high school and middle school principal of grades seven through 12. We're here to update you on some safety procedures that have taken place over the last week since the devastating news from Florida. The videos you're about to watch are the safety precautions and procedures and protocols that we've put into place since that tragic day on February 14th, 2018. So one of the first safety procedures that we implemented last week was here outside the middle school doors and the safety procedure was put in for our after school pickup. We have some students that are picked up by their parents or grandparents here in the cafeteria. The middle school doors are locked. They used to be opened at that time to make it easy for you to come in and out. But there's two reasons why we've locked it. Overall, building security. And also, that is not the safest place to take children in and out. It's a blind spot both ways. You have to walk out into traffic to see if it is safe in order to walk out. So these doors, we're asking that nobody uses these doors to pick up children after school. Park down by the high school students and use the high school athletic lobby doors. You'd come up, sign your children out, and then exit that same way. We're even asking that you don't exit this way because again, it's an overall safety procedure for you and your child. Thank you. After listening to the concerns of a lot of our parents relating to school safety, we have implemented, starting on Monday, February 26th, a new policy where these athletic doors will be locked until 325 each day. That will ensure the safety of our students, K through four, for the remainder of their school day once middle school and high school are dismissed. We've also made a change in where our tutoring morning students arrive, meet, and get picked up as well. Before, our students were uh, dropped off by the bus. They'd walk to the elementary, sit on the bench, and wait for a teacher to pick them up. We're having our bus students go directly to the cafeteria, and any students that are being dropped off by car do come through the high school, which there is a staff member available, to direct them to the cafeteria. They wait as a group. The teachers pick them up there in the cafeteria as they are supervised, and then they are led to their tutoring. That is a change, and it's a change that we feel most comfortable with of the overall supervision of our children. An additional safety precaution that we are taking includes having high school and middle school teachers at all three entry points of the building in the morning between 7.15 and 7.30 to monitor the flow of traffic with our middle school and high school students. At 7.30, all doors are locked and no one can enter the building without being buzzed in. So you've now had a chance to see all those safety provisions that we have now put in place. If you have any questions after seeing these videos, please give us a call. In addition, if you are unable to contact a building level administrator, you certainly have the opportunity to use two hotlines that are provided by the state of Ohio, the Ohio Safer Schools and the Public School Works Hotline. Those numbers are listed at the bottom of the screen and we encourage anybody that see something, say something. But one of the things that we also want to emphasize are these numbers are wonderful and it's a great resource. But Mr. Miller and I strongly feel that our door is always open and we will always make time for our kids and parents. If you have any concerns, an email, a phone call, or please drop in at any, any, any moment.